Hey guys, this is Frankie Grusom, and this is a requested tutorial on how to convert Sims 4 trees to Sims 3. So I'm just going to be working on some EA trees because that's easiest. This tutorial will work with any kind of mesh trees that you want to convert, but not with speed tree trees because that's a completely different category. So um, yeah, pretty much just open Sims 4 Studio, find the tree you want. I'm just going to pick a completely random one. Converted like 90% of these anyway. Um, pick that one. Right. Put it wherever. You will need to download um, the trees that I already converted. They are on around The Sims 3, the site, because you'll need those as a base in. TSRW. So open up a tree, doing trees first, we'll do other stuff later, and you'll see that trees have either two or three textures. Now, um, the one issue with Sims 4 Studio is that for some reason it's made these textures like partially see-through. I don't know why it's done that. So uh, yeah, I can't actually use these, you'll have to fix them up. When I did it, it did not have this problem. It's had this problem since Seasons. So this one has three textures, so three groups. Some of them have two textures and two groups. I'm just going to work with this one because we have it anyway. So export texture one. Obviously save this somewhere better than I am. Export texture two. Export three and then also export lot zero high three wait for it to finish cool go into blender and ignore that and just open the blend file usually open in my blender You'll see you have one, two, three groups here that match the three textures we have. So sometimes what you can do is if you want to import a, oh God, um, import a sim to just see how big the tree is. Sometimes you need to resize it like some grass in TS um, from Sims 4 is just huge. So yeah, body. So that's the size of a sim. Maybe if you want the tree bigger, then shift select all three groups, and then you can press S to scale it down. Obviously make sure it's still just under the surface. Cool. Once you have it the size you want, again, select those three groups. File, export, the wavefront object, Selection only, object is object groups, and untick the right materials. And then export it as tree.object, that works. Cool. So this tree has three groups. So this is one of my trees. You can see it only has two groups. So I need to find one of my trees that has three groups, which I do have. Just got to find them. Hmm. Oak tree. Yeah, so this one has three groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at what the groups are. So I can hide and make uh, groups visible. So the first group is the trunk. The second group is the leaves. And third group is these hanging bits, which would be the twigs in our case. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this tree downloads as my reference and then import it in here and check what bones I have because you definitely need to assign bones, otherwise, it's going to have invisible leaves. Yeah. Drinks. Um, 
drawer joints. So you can see it, everything has the same bone here. So delete those groups because I now have that bone imported and import my object. Edit, select all joints, pick that bone, 100% assign. Now it's yellow. Good. Groups. So this group is the trunk. So that needs to go up and be grouped to zero because it was the first group in TSRW. This group is the um, branches that needs to go down and be group two. Then this group are the leaves, so that needs to be in the middle, which it is, and be group one. File export. TSRW object. Right. Now I'm just going to import this tree. Yes, just ignore that. It's just saying it's higher than a um, higher than the wall, which you kind of expect. Um, medium level of detail. That's up to you if you want to make a lot. Um, usually the poly anyway, so I just use the same one. But you can obviously do it properly. Right. Then if we go to textures, you'll see that the first texture here is the um, the texture one. The Usually they use the same texture for all trees anyway, but um, it's the uh, trunk texture. So import, place, done, yes, replace. You'll see it also replaces this one, which is what it's supposed to do. Then go to mesh. Select the second group, you can see this is the leaf group, so we're going to import the leaf texture. Now, the problem is that that's half see-through, so I'm just going to kind of fix this up because it annoys me, but maybe one of the versions of Sims 4 Studio will fix this. I've complained about it, but they don't seem to, or at least I don't have the version that's fixed it yet. Right. So file open T two and T three. Right. Now you can see that the alpha has some grey bits in the adjustment. So I press Control L for work. Yeah. Control L brings up this. Now if I move everything over there, you'll see everything goes white. Good. Save. Just making it less see-through. If it's grey, it's see-through. If it's white, it's not see-through. This one, it's somehow also um, it's kind of lost colour. I don't know why. So hue, saturation, saturation up. Maybe not that much. But a little bit. Obviously, the surrounding bit's not that important, it's just the barky bit to just make it a little bit more. Cool. So, back to SRW, edit, import, my leaf texture, there we go. You can see it was exactly the same texture again, they reuse everything. Uh, you can also retexture if you want to, that's what I've done, because I don't like the TS4 uh, things. Again, press yes, and you'll see it's switched out this one too. So, we're done here. And then the third one, this one's something different, insert third one, yes, press yes again, you'll see it switched this one out too, even if it doesn't show it, yes. And then you pretty much have a tree. I might make the twigs a bit darker because you can see, I can zoom in a bit further, that they're pretty light compared to the... Um, the trunk that you can do whatever you want. Okay, so um, if someone's interested, here there's a setting down here that says wind speed and wind strength. This you can fiddle with this. This is how much the um, 
the leaves move in the wind and how much the branches move in the wind. So I don't want the branches moving more than the leaves because that makes no sense. So I'm just going to put this down to 0 0.1. Yes. Cool. Um, that part done. You can see under mist that I've already gotten rid of all the lights because I don't want occluders. I want to watch my other tutorials and what that is. What you do need to edit is the footprint. So you can see when I click on this, it draws a red box. The red box is the area that a sim cannot walk around to um, how close they can get. That's like the bounding box where the sim can't access. So I want to make it smaller because this tree is obviously smaller. So usually you can say from mesh, but if I do that, you'll realize if I say, okay, it gets as big as the mesh, but obviously the sim can walk under the branches, I just can't walk into the trunk. So I'm just going to have to usually start with like one, 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 one. Okay, now it's too small, I can't see it. So we'll do 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 1.5. And I tried to draw a box that is, <coughs> excuse me, around about the size of the trunk. Maybe not. Two, 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 two. Also not. Just gonna do four, 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 four. Yep. Seems it needs to be pretty big. Six. Usually it's better to just work off the one you did first. Um like there really was a box, I should have just gone from that box, but what is going on? I feel like the footprint is a bit. Okay, for some reason, the footprint box is a bit, so. But yeah, there's fiddle with those settings to create um, a box. I'm just going to go like this again. Now it's drawing the box again. So my box was just too big, I guess. So um, that's about 2.4 or like, this is like three and a half. Ah, yeah, I need to do it negative. Sorry, that was my problem. So um, let's do one, one, minus one, minus one. Sorry, that's why I was missing. Yeah, maybe a bit smaller than that. Eight. Just so that the trees don't block the sims as much. Yeah, that works. So make sure you edit the footprint, otherwise the sim can't walk past it. Um, that was pretty much it. So, yeah, now you can just go export project contents. Make sure you renumber. Otherwise, it'll override. Rename it if you want. Change the price or whatever. I mine all just at zero. If you want to do a bush, pretty much do all the same steps. If I just import one for you, we've got projects. So if I import like a bush or flowers or grass or something like that that only has one group then you'll see that it also only has one group in here. So you'll just do exactly the same stuff, just with one group. Again, assign bones and everything. Um, you only have one texture for these, so just import it over one of these and press yes. For the footprints, you'll see that the um, footprints, it doesn't really matter what size they are, because the footprints on these plants are set that sims can walk through the plants and like over them. So it doesn't matter what the, this is just for placement. So you can make it big, you can make it small. It's just the box that's going to show when you place the object. Um, I just leave it as one square at the moment because it doesn't matter. As I said, mine is set so that um, your sim can walk through them, which is this setting. Allow intersection sims. So yeah, that is uh, pretty much all you do. Hope that helps.